Hi hotties, how are you? Let me know how you're doing. As for me, um, I feel like a mess. I don't feel great. Uh, I think it's really reflected. You know how like your physical space reflects what's going on in your mind? Like that's what's happening right now. I just feel like a mess. Like my mental health has just not been, not been great as usual. And with that, I feel like that manifests in our living area, which is like not the manifestation that we are looking for this year. Yikes, because you can kind of already see the mess that's going on. I'll show you a little bit later, but I'm gonna drink an energy drink because today is going to be a day. I'm gonna be decluttering. Side note, I have my nails really short. I haven't had this short in a while, but I don't remember how to open. How do I open this? I'm just gonna use a spoon because right now my nails are so fragile. I don't wanna break them. Yay. Yeah. Anyways, today I'm going to be decluttering, cleaning, organizing, doing all the things because, uh, yeah, my mental health is just not that great right now. We need to help that. But also, we're moving. It was a shock for us, too. We did not know that we were going to move this fast. We actually were ready to renew our lease. We have a letter taped to our door from our management company saying that if we want to renew, then we have to pay $400 extra in rent a month. <laughs> so, yeah, we're definitely moving. We really, really love the new place. I can't wait to show you guys. So yeah, that's why we're decluttering because we don't want to move things with us that we don't need, right? This is currently what we're rocking with. You can see that there's just so much clutter. We kind of just like, there's socks, bro. There's literally, like, this is a mess. I was journaling here. Martin literally plays his games right there. I was doing my nails. I have, uh, like, no. I took a nap here yesterday, so that's why there's a pillow. Clothes I need to give to my family, some PR. This is some of Suki's PR. Like, girl, why is she an influencer? This trash can is filled, so we have another box. Like, uh-uh. Random stuff here. The hamper is overflowing with laundry a random cat tree that we still need to get rid of i think my office looks the worst oh i've got some pr and then clothes right here that need to be donated i'm actually really scared to go through these and declutter through that because that's a mess anyways i think my outfit is cute she's like comfy but you know she's still serving i feel like this is your sign if you have to do something that you just really don't want to do that you've been procrastinating that's definitely in the position that i am because we're literally moving in less than two weeks at least we look cute while doing it i mean at the end of the day i'm just a girl like come on Okay, so the first order of business is the living room. I feel like the living room is just the most important place to keep tidy because when you enter through the front door, like this is really the first room that you see. It's just not really good vibes when it's just all cluttered, you know? Martin and I's toxic trait is that we will not clean the living room unless we have people coming over. <laughs> we will procrastinate it until like literally 20 minutes before they're here. And then we're just a bunch of big liars because when people come in, they're like, wow, so clean. It, like it just like looks so nice. We're just like, yeah, it looks like this all the time. Yeah. I really just have not learned my lesson because I did my nails on this coffee table when the last time I did my nails I ruined it because of the acetone but I was like you know what today I'm just gonna be really careful and I'm happy to report that no accidents happened last night but I was really stressed out like as if I don't have anywhere else to do it <laughs> in our bathroom we have this really cool like cart thingy so I just put all of my nail supplies at this bottom one right here I kind of just throw everything in I know I need to figure out an organization system for it but since we're moving I'm like I don't want to buy any more furniture just things like that yet just until we get situated into the new place so i think i think that's that's good <laughs> baby Suki so much but when it comes to furniture there is no waiting with her because you can see that she has white and gray hair so whenever we get light colored furniture you can see her gray hair but when we have dark colored furniture like this you can see all her white hair so I'm always having to vacuum everything you can see there's so much cat hair just everywhere it's okay it's worth it it's not her fault <laughs> There's a lot 
lot of cat hair like in the crevices, so I'm just gonna pick that out. I know that's kind of gross, but she's my daughter. Ew. I vacuum the couch really regularly. Why? Oh my god, ew, there's so much stuff. Suki, how do you have this much hair? If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you would know that we just built this. So, like we basically just redid the entire living room, and then that's when a few days later they slapped us with that like rent increase. So we were kind of sad. We're like, wow, we really redid everything, but now we have to move. But this is our pride and joy right now. I'm going to tidy it up because this is black. It gets so dusty, but it's okay. It's worth it. It looks good. This whole console is so sexy. I'm so embarrassed to say that I'm tired because literally that was nothing. That that was like an hour of cleaning. I didn't even do anything. But the living room is done, a vacuum that, everything is good to go. But taking cleaning or just like such big projects like this, I think it's important to take baby steps. So this is my easiest room to do. I did it first, I'm proud. And now it's time for like the craziest room in my office. I have so much stuff. <laughs> and they're either gonna be very friendly. Darling you. So I'm gonna start off with this section right here. There's just so much clutter. I just need to organize it a little bit and then I'm gonna go into my drawers, empty everything out, declutter, organize. We can do this, we can do this. Cue the music. I'm definitely gonna keep this box. Look how cute it is. are my favorite lipsticks ever. They're from Hourglass. I was so excited to get them at all the color sale. There's so many packing peanuts in here. I have to just like empty it out. Y'all look at this lipstick. It's huge. <laughs> in here <laughs> oh my gosh suki's about to take a shit oh no now it's gonna stink in here <laughs> these drawers are like me on the outside it looks put together you know but once you open it it, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I am such an out of sight, out of mind girl. So like, this is all of my hair accessories. Like, I just threw them in here. They used to be organized, but as you can see, I kind of just throw everything in here now. These two drawers are where I put my makeup. So I have just ton of makeup in here. Oh, I have some random stuff in here. Some important documents in this one. I have drawers connected to my desk. This is where I do my makeup. So I have my everyday makeup in here. Then I have some office supplies, even though it's just, just like, you know, you know. Like I do have these really cute organizer boxes that work for a while, but as I get more makeup, they all just get filled up and unorganized. There are a lot of products in here that didn't work out for me, but I feel just weird like having to throw them out because I can't really donate it once I use them. But at this point, keeping expired makeup or just makeup that doesn't work for me, it just doesn't make sense anymore, right? <laughs> Both drawers are empty and now they're here. Oh my gosh. The way I was able to fit all of this stuff into two drawers is kind of a talent in itself. Like, <laughs> not a talent that I'm proud of though. I actually reached out to a lot of brands asking to be taken off the PR list because I just feel so guilty about having all of this stuff. And like literally there is no reason one single human should have this many products. When I'm tackling an overwhelming declutter like this, I like to put each product into their own home. So basically there's a container only for lip products, a container only for foundations, etc. I love experimenting with different eye looks. So here are all of my colored eyeliners and stuff. Oh, hopefully I didn't break that. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Look, I have this really cute eyeliner stamp. A heart for you. Actually, that was really bad. Oh. 
a heart for you. When you're looking through, double check the expiration date because obviously you don't want to put nasty stuff on your face. And with those, make sure you toss them, you know, like they're just growing mold. I like to literally lay everything out on the floor because I'm physically touching and swatching each product because when I try to organize them when they're in the drawer, when I'm just being a lazy girl, I'm more likely to keep it and it's harder to categorize everything, you know? Once everything is in their home, you know exactly what you have. If there's limited space in these containers, you know you don't have to buy new things. So it helps with your wallet and you can optimize and actually use everything like how it deserves here's the makeup that i'm going to keep this stuff is going to go to my family and friends and then in here are expired makeup or just really really used makeup Ooh, i think these ones are expired they feels like sticky in my hands Ugh. yep i just looked at the bottom they're expired ah oh. okay palettes glitters Eyeliner, blush and highlight, some sparklies, powder, foundation, and glitter, lippies, brushes, lashes. I just finished sorting everything out for the giveaway. I split it up into two things and I wanted to give back to you guys because you guys are quite literally the whole reason why I even get stuff in the first place. It also just makes sense because I'm moving. I'm so excited to send these out. I'm going to be hosting the giveaway on my Instagram. So uh, I don't know if this is still going to be like live by the time I post this YouTube video, but I guess follow me on Instagram if you want to, to be in the loop for like future giveaways or just if you want to see cool pictures. Like I know you guys want to so bad, but <laughs> yeah. I think my hair drawer is so unorganized because after a long day, I'm literally just like <laughs> like that. I really couldn't care less about everything. Like all of these ribbons are tangled. Oh, uh, oh, no. It won't close. Oh, I think I have to get rid of this. It doesn't work. <laughs> emptied it out and then i have these four boxes that i think are really cute but you can see that it all got jumbled inside like everything is just mismatched nothing is in their right home so i'm just going to do that ew i don't know how it's so dirty Ugh. this part is so fun because it's like tetris Looking at this now is such a breath of fresh air. I mean, you saw it before. It, it was really, really horrible. <laughs> Ooh, okay, cool transition. Let's go. Wow, so good. <laughs> I actually went through each and every single thing in my important documents drawer. There was a lot of junk in there. But look at how cute this is. This brand is called Angry Asian Girl. I just think it's so silly because like, this is so me. Like I'm literally just an angry little Asian girl. <laughs> Why can I close it? Hello? Ugh. Whoa. What? <laughs> there we go. I love jewelry, obviously. And I never thought I would say this, but I think I just have way too much. I have my staples, you know, I have my everyday jewelry and I just don't wear these pieces enough. They're tarnishing and honestly, it just looks really cluttered. So I'm just gonna get rid of a few things and organize it. I actually don't know if I want to keep this thing from when we move. Like, I think we're going to move with it, but I don't know what the layout of my next office will be. We'll see. I just don't really know what to do with this. I feel like it's so cluttered even when I try to make it look neat. Not completely done with the office yet, but I think for the time that we had today, it was very productive. I have a full trash bag full of things. I really wanted to finish the whole office today, but I think when I film, it takes like two to three times longer just to do things. We have to set up angles, make sure everything's in frame. Oh my gosh, it's so hard being a YouTuber, guys. You guys wouldn't understand. But yeah, I think we did a good job. Let's go team. If you watched episode one of my moving diaries, you would have seen that I did a closet clean out. Girl, I tried on everything in my closet. Like that took so many days to film, but it was so worth it. And with that, I still had a lot of good clothes that were in good condition that I thought that can go to a better home. So yeah, come along with us to sell some clothes. Martin has some things to donate to, so we literally have six bags in total. I did over to Buffalo Exchange just to see the vibes there, you know? I feel like they take forever to look through everything, but like, if that makes sense. So I guess we'll see, but we're gonna get boba, so I think it'll be fine. <laughs> I need the boba 
boba guys strawberry matcha milk tea pumped into my veins now because i will never get tired of this <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so I know I did just say to dress cute while you're cleaning. She's like comfy, but you know, she's still serving. Today is just not one of those days. Actually, I do look cute. This is just my brain being mean to me. I am cute. Yep, it's literally 5 p.m. And this is the first time that I've spoken all day. Uh, today, we're getting started on the guest bathroom. I do have some clutter in here. It's not as bad as our main bathroom, but that's why I'm doing this right now because we gotta start small. Oh my gosh, I'm also so embarrassed about this. This is such a big secret. I don't even know why. I'm gonna be showing you this because it's truly embarrassing. Like, I hate it. When you walk in, it looks like a totally normal bathroom. Like, nothing really out of place or anything, but I actually have command strips right here and here because I'm so embarrassed. Like, what if a guest is like peeing or pooing and they want to be a little sneaky and look through it like they cannot look what's inside because they would be met with this <laughs> okay we ran out of storage in the apartment and we don't really use the guest bathtub that much just because like we shower in our other one we don't have a lot of guests that sleep over and we were like so we use all of this square footage like we're paid for this so we're gonna use everything <laughs> As a kid, I dreamed of having the mirrors that has a cabinet inside. And oh my gosh, I have it now and it's so cool. There are things in here that I don't reach for that much anymore. So I'm going to take everything out and separate it, declutter. You guys know the drill. why we need so many hair tools like there's so many curlers and straighteners in here like we don't need more than one this one's honestly a mess so many more hair products in there this is the drawer that we use like on the daily i know that's like really messy but we really reach for everything in here so i don't think i'm going to declutter these too much but those two yeah organized chaos these are the things that i've used up already these are things that i think that my friends and family would like and then here are keepers On to the next bathroom, which is the bathroom that Martin and I use. I mean, we obviously use the bathroom every day, but you know what I mean? Like, this is where we get ready. This is where we shower, brush our teeth, all that stuff. So it's been through the mud. Honestly, this is so embarrassing because I kind of let it get this bad because I'm like, well, I mean, I don't have to clean today because I'm just going to film it anyway. So and today was the day and I really regretted my decision because this was a lot. <laughs> These drawers are so deep and wide. <laughs> Yum, but it fits like a lot of stuff. So I think we can just hide a lot of things in there, you know, out of sight, out of mind, but that's just not going to fly right now we have this three-tier cart that we just kind of throw everything on as well we put folded towels on the top body and hair products on the second level and then on the bottom i have all my nail supplies which is not organized at all and to the right of the shower we have a ton of random boxes the sink area was really getting on my nerves so that was the first thing i tackled and then afterwards i wiped everything down the mirrors you know the counter we're doing the damn thing We put 
these boxes here because we're like, wow, we're going to optimize our space. Like, you know, we're going to use all of the products. Tell me why that most of this stuff has not been touched since we moved in. So I think a lot of it is actually expired or, I mean, I just don't use it anyway, so I think they can go. I've been so bad with procrastinating everything. Like how many outfit changes have I had in this video so far? I just want to film everything for you guys. But at the same time, like, babe, this is not time efficient. Like we're literally moving in less than a week. For the past couple of days, it's been a little bit more surface level. Like I'm kind of more decluttering, organizing all that stuff. But today we're going to get into cleaning. We just got this new scrub brush. And yes, I am wearing an all white outfit while I clean. Is that stupid? Absolutely. Do I also want to feel on the edge and feel also like a princess cleaning? Yes. Whenever I clean the bathtub, I just remember when I was a child, I wanted to surprise my mom. I think it was for Mother's Day or for her birthday or something like that. I really wanted to help her clean because I always just saw her cleaning the bathtubs and it would just be really tiring for her. So I literally got all the bleach. I got all the stuff. Girl, tell me why I almost passed out. Like it was so embarrassing because it, all the fumes were just so much. I don't know how my mom did it. But my little lungs really could not handle it. Like, I literally almost passed out. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay. So honestly, this corner of the bedroom is just kind of like, okay, we have no more space. So I don't know where to put it. We want to keep it, but we don't know where. So we're just going to leave it here. Like this basket full of random things. Like why is there Rice Krispies, but also like a weird looking teddy bear. This is my custom pop Funko. When I used to go by Jazzy, that was the time. One of Jungkook, cause duh. And then a little figurine of Curtis Connor. Martin thought it'd be really cool if we got it. So now we have it, but it's just here. <laughs> junk closet it's so bad it's it's i i don't want to do this oh literally we just put anything and everything in here so we don't even know what's in there right yeah now. i really don't <laughs> Thing. We're gonna start packing things into boxes. We literally bought a whole kit. We have so many boxes So I'm excited to just throw everything in there. Honestly, I don't really like there's not there's nothing fragile We could just it's fine This was the first box we packed because all of these things like we really really don't need in the next few days But I don't know why I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's really hitting me We're moving out and this was our first apartment together and I just feel like oh my gosh We're growing up, but I'm so excited for the next place I'm so excited to pay reasonable rent and also not be scared that strangers are gonna show up at my house because I'm terrified of that So yeah afterwards we packed some miscellaneous things in our closets because our closets have like an overhead like storage thing So we just went through those quickly decluttered and organized Organize our kitchen. I want to thank you so much for giving me the platform and just like the resources to be able to live in such a beautiful place. We love this place so much. I'm going to be doing like a full moving vlog. So I'm so excited to see you there. I'm actually really excited to see the apartment because tell me why we said the lease and while well, we don't know exactly what it looks like, but you know, we're going with good vibes. It's fine. I love you so, so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. Just